Welcome to another segment of our website creation masterclass. Today we are going to be building a real estate website and based on our suggestions, someone suggested Yuko Homes. So let's go to Yuko Homes website and see how it looks like. So we will get a glimpse of what we are trying to design. So ladies and gentlemen, this is ecohomes.com and at the top here, you see how their header is designed. They have a, the phone number and email address segment here, the physical or their office address here, and their time of operations from Monday to Friday as well as Saturdays. Then we have their social media icons here. And their logo here then below here we see their menu bar the menu bar for eco homes from home about us our services our estate house scheme gallery blog news contacts and downloads then when you when you scroll down immediately after the menu bar you see a slider with populated with a lot of images that are sliding then immediately below, you see their accreditations, their multiple award winners with the awards they've won just beside. Then go a bit lower, you see a video of endorsement from a, a Onibeju King of Ibeju Leki. And uh, we see their registration link to register as a member as well as the various estates that they are managing down here then you see another image for portraying their present promotions then come to another segment about Yuko Homes Limited as well as their social media handles by the right then go down you see their point of strength. Why choose Eco Homes? Direct landowners, multiple award winners, and largest network of marketers. Those are their three strengths. Then you see a, a, a list of their estates sliding as a carousel here. Our estates at EUC Homes. Then this is their account numbers for their various banks. Then news and events here and uh, we have uh, the video highlights the photo gallery and then the almighty future for eco homes the almighty future for eco homes so this is pretty what we're going to be doing it's going to take us a bit little time but what we do in this video we are going to design this home page but we won't do it exactly the way it is because i'm beginning to notice some irregularities that will actually take us time if we have to design this from the scratch example here you see that the images are not matching they have an image here that is smaller in size another one below here that is smaller in size then a large image here then if you see below you see that the images are not really regular so we have some irregularities on the side. If you notice here, the same thing. Some irregularities. And the slider here is not actually sliding properly, but we're going to do it like this. The way they, they did it here, we're going to slide it like this anyway. So, okay, you also see here some irregularities as well. These segments are shorter, while these ones are taller. Or longer, whichever one. So you notice some irregularities on the side, but we're going to see if we can get something better than what we have here, a site that is more regular in this masterclass. So we we'll go right away. Let's start with choosing a team. Choose a suitable team that will give us some pretty management at the header here. If we can get a team that allows us to put phone numbers and email address then office address and time 
even if we don't get the ones that allow us to put social media icon i'll leave that up to you so you can find those types yourself in your practice but once we get a team that allows us to do this at the header here and as allows us to put a logo by the side here then we are good to go if we weren't able to get a team that encompasses both putting addresses here as well as social media icons then we'll pass that and we'll go ahead so that in your own leisure time you can look for a team that allows you to do all that and then you use it for your own practice so we'll go to teams that i have here i will scroll and see if there's anyone that is giving us a kind of functionality that allows us to okay okay i'm seeing a vw automobile lights let's activate vw automobile lights i'm seeing at the header here we're seeing i'm seeing some preview of functionalities like phone numbers email address uh time and all that so let's see what happens let's customize this team So this is a customizer page we go to we go to site settings let's start with site settings this is masterclass 2020 is a site title we change it to euc homes doesn't really have a tagline so we select a logo the logo for euc homes have already been uploaded here we select it and we we'll we we'll click skip cropping so that the logo won't be cropped it will appear exactly the way it is now they're asking me to show or hide site title since the logo here is bearing the title euc homes so there's no need putting another site title here so i i will slide this to off so that the site title will be off then if you look at their website there is no place for tagline there is no tagline here so i also switch off the show tagline so i wouldn't have to bother myself about that the site icon i also select euc home that's the site icon icon the uh, i skip cropping so i had here you now see the icon here euc homes the same way you're seeing the icon here euc homes so this is the logo as the logo is appearing here euc homes now we're done with this section we go back let's try to customize our header we'll go to top bar section the top bar section will customize our header then in euc home the top bar there is nothing like search the search button is deactivated so we also deactivate the search button for our site then we'll go down this is the icon for phone number add phone number icon and this is where you add the phone number so we'll go to euc homes we we we, we copy their phone numbers and we'll paste it here then we we go down the second icon is for location so we we'll go back to our site and we we'll look for the the next icon on, on our site is a email address so we go here and select an icon that will suit location so we'll just keep we just scroll down we have a lot of icons here we scroll down and select an icon that will suit location okay this icon here is suiting location we select it then we add the location to add location we simply copy what we have here and we paste 
we paste them here now the last icon showing you time their time of operation during the week that's that's the icon we have here so we are not going to change anything there so we simply go back to their site and also copy their time of operation and paste as it, say, as it is like here So we've done this we'll publish as you can see uh, above here we've seen their phone numbers and email address their physical office address their time of operation has been added then we'll see EUC homes logo here okay we've published we are, we are done with that then we we'll, if you notice in that top bar section there is no uh, opportunity for you to add social media icons so that is the team we are using to avoid wasting our time looking for a team that will afford us that opportunity we just have to go ahead and design this website so later on at your own leisure while practicing you can check thousands hundreds of teams if you wish so we are done with this we quickly go to menu we quickly go to menu the primary menu menu location yeah primary menu or the current menu then we have to add items to this menu we have to add items to this menu the home item we have to remove the search item the home item the next item is about us about us we add Our services our services we add our estates our estates we add a housing scheme Then we have the, the gallery. Then we have blog, news, contacts, and downloads. Blog. We have news. Contacts. Then downloads. So as we as we are creating these pages here, the pages are, will automatically be created in our WordPress dashboard. So we come here, we see that the, our services here is a drop down, our estate here is a drop down. Now look at what happens. We're going to create these pages for our services, which are the real estate marketing, real estate development here, real estate management, and real estate investment. While our estates, their populated estates, they have, uh, they are operating, so it's going to take us a bit of time because we need a different, uh, a, a different menu uh, widget in order to to populate these our uh, estates. So we are going to leave that for a, a separate video. So we just populate our services, which is a bit easier right now, and gallery, which contains only photo gallery and videos. So we just add services, real estate marketing real estate development next service is a uh, real estate management The next service is real estate investment.
now we are going to bring those new services we add under our services because they are all a child of our services as you can see at the menu here so we'll quickly come here then we'll go to reorder we have to reorder this this menu so that these new additions real estate marketing development management and investment which are a child of our services will definitely become a child of our services so to do that we have to we have to push them all below our services we have to push them up using this arrow here we keep pushing until it comes directly below our services we also come take real estate development up we keep pushing we keep pushing until it comes exactly below the real estate marketing which is under our services we we'll come to real estate management we we'll keep pushing there's another way you can do this in your wordpress dashboard but we are going to do that in another video you also come here you keep pushing you keep pushing then all the services real estate marketing development management and investments have come under our services section so we'll now use this arrow pointing right to drag them by the right make them a child of our services so they've automatically become a child of our services so when i come to our services and i hover we see the, the real estate services management and all those who what we, we come down then we'll publish we'll click on done we'll go back to add items and we check under our gallery remember we say we're not touching this for now we'll do that on a separate video under our gallery we see photo gallery and videos so we'll add photo gallery add photo gallery photo gallery is taking time to add come on then we'll add videos once we are done with this we also do it exactly the same way we did for the real estate services we we'll drag photo gallery up push it up until it becomes under gallery we sorry Okay. then we'll drag videos up as well then we'll push them right using this arrow then then they become a child of gallery ladies and gentlemen so I publish I publish So once uh, once I go to my mobile view, I will see the menu icon that allows me to navigate navigate like this. So so I click done. I go back to my to my desktop view. So we're done with the header for now. So we go to our dashboard and see how we can design the home page so it looks like the one we have here or even better. So this is our, our Yuko Homes uh, home page. We have the home here, the about us, the, our services, real estate, housing scheme, gallery, blog, news, contacts and then we have downloads so because of the team we are using this whole thing are constrained here if we use a different team it will it may space out the way it is being spaced out here so we leave that up for now and then let's go to editing our home page Let's go to editing our home page. Now we're going to edit with Elementor. We all know that Elementor is the key in WordPress editing these days. 
millions and millions of websites are beginning to develop with Elementor. They are beginning to build web pages with Elementor. So we are going to be building our home page with Elementor because it affords us a whole lot of widgets, structures, sections to work with. You can add images in style. So this is our home page. We'll go to Eco Homes. Eco Homes, after the menu, they started with a carousel. So we are going to start with a carousel. We'll go to our global elements. Then we are going to look for the carousel widget. This is image carousel. We're going to drag it and drop here. So this place, the plus button here, motions us to add the images we want to be sliding on that carousel. So we'll click it. The images are not here, so we have to upload the files. We select from our folders. So these are the images I've downloaded. The images on e EUC Homes website, uh, the images on their carousel, I wasn't able to download them. So I had to get other images that are beautiful as well. We're going to use it for our carousel, about five images that are beautiful. We're going to use it. So we click open. They've downloaded the five images are here. So we wait for them to finish uploading so that our create new gallery button here will come to life. There's remaining one for the upload to be complete. Okay, the upload is complete. So our create new gallery has come to life. So we'll click, click, click create new gallery. Then it will give us an overview of the images we want to use. Then we can now drag and change the position. The ones we want to be to be the first image in the carousel. The ones we want to be the last, and so on and so forth. So once you're done with this setting, you can even add captions here. Any captions you want below the images. Once they slide, the captions will appear. You can add them here. But now we don't need any captions. So we click Insert Gallery. Now our gallery is here. Now if you watch, this gallery is showing us three images at a time. And it's showing us in form of a thumbnail. So what we'll call, do, we'll come to image size here. And we'll change it to large. When we'll change it to large. Okay, nothing really special has happened. So what happens is that we now come to slice to show. Come to slice to show and we choose one. So ladies and gentlemen, our carousel is now looking it's now looking nice. So I can go back to the global home page then I can click here if I want the just as just as the carousel here is stretching to the entire website I can also stretch using here stretch section here under the layout for this particular section I can stretch section here and the carousel will stretch to the entire page now there's a teaser for this the carousel will stretch perfectly well if the images you're using fits the size of your web page or the size that is the size of of your laptop or a desktop size so as you can see the images i used have different sizes some are actually fitting while some aren't fitting so let's see what's happening here you see so this image here is of a smaller size so it isn't really going to cover the laptop this image here is even smaller why this one is a bit bold and this one is big okay this one is also okay so the teaser here is when using images for carousels make sure that the images you use for carousels are of the same size 
so that you won't have any problems so when you're designing a website and you want someone of course someone had to design all these images probably a graphic designer designed all these images so you tell the graphic designer to design images that are of the same size so that you can they can function well in a carousel and they can behave properly and if 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 possible you tell the graphic design the, the, the graphic designer to make the images large so that once you use them for carousel they can be able to cover a desktop very well that's if you want your your your, your carousels to stretch around the page so that is it for the images but the most important thing here is that we've created a carousel and a sliding so the images we are gotten online and the sizes we are in the same so we have to manage it for this particular website now as we can see here we're seeing element of h31 showing up here so we'll go to our dashboard to change this but that should be pretty much later so we've added the carousel here let's see if we can make some bit changes here okay 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 I think I've let me see if the magic I just performed now is working for all the images okay good good it has worked for all the images I've been able to use some settings now to to make the images to be able to fit well I went to one of the settings and I, I stretched the images so they are now fitting but the only difference here is that the heights are still different. You can stretch the width of the image, but you can never drag the height. You can't do anything about the height. As you can see, this one is a bit shorter than the other than the other images we are using. So at least we have we now have a carousel that the images have the same width. It's good. It's a good thing to work with. So we update our settings here. We we'll go back to our Eco Homes website. The next thing that they added was a section with their awards we are multiple award winners with the awards they have here three awards city people award and city people award 2007 2009 and 2008 so we are going to go back to our elemental dashboard now we are going to add a section now we see that the awards have two sections this first section for multiple award winners and the other section for the awards so in order to get this perfectly well we are going to be using a three section three section element or three three structure element or better still okay let's use a four let's use a four structure I'll tell you the reason why I'm using a force structure. So here I'll add a large test here. I'll go to home. I'll drag test header and drop here. I can shift this. Resize this. Resize this. So this is it. I'll copy with uh, multiple award winners. I'll paste here. We are multiple award winners. Then I will. Uh, I'll go back to our home. Then text editor i'll drag text editor and put here which now allows me to add this other test in just three years euc homes limited as bag numerous awards and accolades so we're gonna put that here we will come to styling i will make it centralized the styling for this as well we also make it centralized now is remaining the the awards that they bagged the three awards 
so i'll go back to elementor dashboard since the awards the awards are in form of images if you right click i was able to save the awards as images separately so i will drag an image here which shows that it's an image i want to add i also drag another image here and drag the third image here so for each of the image i'll click here and then go choose image i'll go to my library select files as usual then i'll look for the awards where i've downloaded them so these are the awards here i'll select the three awards so the three awards i downloaded i will insert the media so i will go here i will choose the second award insert come here choose the second award the third award rather i insert then if you look at if you look at the one here we have the background is should i call this an orange color okay background is an orange color so we whenever you want to edit the whole of this section you you you, you click you click on this icon here but if you want to edit the the section separately you click on this other pen like icon here to edit this section separately but if you want to edit the entire section we go here so once i go here the dashboard here automatically change and anything i do here will affect the entire section so i come to styling now i want to change the background image so background we have normal i go to background type classic then background color i'll choose the background color i'll choose a background color that suits what we have there is it suiting i guess so our background is suiting so i go back to the layout and i stretch it out i stretch so this is what we have here eco homes as you can see here we have we have spaces uh, above above this so we can achieve that the, for the entire section we'll go back to advance we can achieve that using padding or we'll pad or we'll pad or we'll pad or we'll pad we we'll keep you keep increasing the padding until you get the the, the feel you want so let's say let's go with this view let's go with this view let's see if we can also do anything about the margin so that we can separate the two sections so we we'll also increase increase the margin a bit and drag it below so we can separate these two sections so this is it we we'll have our slider first then we we'll have our award section eco homes multiple award winners So this is it we're done with this section we now go over to the next section so the next section is a bit dicey this section is a bit dicey um, adding these images here will take us a whole lot of time so what I intend to do is to divide this section into two 
this section here with this video will be at the top why this section with this gallery will be below it it will give the website a better meaning and a, a better feeling so we also have the registration link will be also ahead of this registration link click to register as a member we also have it ahead of here but in the one we are going to be creating now this video will be at the top followed by this. making this video larger and being in a separate section will even prompt a visitor to this site to want to watch this image and we may even design it in such a way that once the person is scrolling and gets to the image the image will start playing automatically so i think it's better that way so 